French women are natural ladies of leisure. Time is not filled with mindless doing, but rather deliberate pleasure. You might think that French women love handcrafted elegance and luxury brands. But I've learned living in France that a lady of leisure desires none of those things. Rather, she delights in the simple joys. Here in France, it's not uncommon to see people doing nothing. Lounging in cafes and gazing out the window for hours on end reading along the riverbanks in the middle of the day, or having cheese samples at the Marche. People in France aren't in a race to get ahead. Rather, they desire slowly living and indulging fully in the now. A coffee at a cafe is a two-hour affair. Shopping is done slowly and carefully, and rushing another in line is frowned upon. Since leaving the United States to become an expat wife or a lady of leisure, I've experienced feelings of loneliness, a loss of identity, guilt, fear, and shame over my newfound leisure time. Questions like, what am I even doing here? Am I moving up in my life? I felt that I had lost my identity, my drive. I thought that I had to do more to make up for it. But I've learned from experience that Mindless doing and unconscious productivity stems from fear. Fear of not being enough. Fear of the unknown. Fear of being forgotten. All fears that I carried with me while I was living my fast life in the United States. And so many people in the US are exhausted, drained and depleted of inspiration. And that's why it's so important, even necessary, to have leisure time every day. In mindful leisure time comes inspiration. In that empty space comes insight. The unknown future is still a mystery, but an exciting one. Since moving to France, I've swapped my hustling, ambitious, hashtag girlboss personality for a slower, more organic one. I no longer live to work, but I work to live. Like the French women, I've learned to enjoy the simple pleasures of daily life. And when I spot inspiration, I take action. A lady of leisure is a woman free of responsibilities, obligations, or duties. And while you might think it is a polite term for an unemployed woman, I am anything but lazy during my leisure time. As an expat wife, I am more intrinsically motivated and creative when I have stillness. So my friend, if there is one lesson I've learned as a lady of leisure in France, it's do as the French do. Indulge in leisure time. And don't apologize for it.